What's up guys, it's Dune Raccoon, and I just thought I'd uh, give you a little review on PlayStation Plus, because I've been getting a lot of questions on what that little yellow thing next to my name is, so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you around, show you what it comes with this month, and I just thought I'd tell you that what Canada gets and the United States gets is completely different. Apparently, uh, countries get different content from PlayStation Plus. I don't know if they shuffle it around like we'll get United States products next month or if it's completely different if there's issues with copyright or stuff like that. But yeah, you can get a, the one year package or the three month package. The one year package is like a $49.99. It comes up to $56 with tax in Canada. And you get three months free if you buy it. I don't know if that's a one-time offer or they're uh, keeping that for a while. I'm not sure. And you see what it comes with here. I'll show you around. It comes with some mini games, if you know what those are. Avatars, themes, siphon filter. That's a stupid one. I played that's from PlayStation 1. I don't know how you can tolerate playing that. All you can see is pixels and shit. Yeah. So yeah, you get a uh, more themes. You get uh, deals on add-ons and stuff. That's not really what I'm interested in. I don't really want the add-ons are useless to me. I don't have those games. Um, you get a subscription to Core, which would actually cost you, but it's free with PlayStation Plus. I wouldn't call it free because you are paying $56 a year for it. So, And there's more avatars, themes, and shit. Um, the in, yeah, there's the demo. You can get a demo. It's full, called a full game demo. Play it for 60 minutes and then the demo's over. But if you buy the game, you can continue playing from where you were at. And uh, the thing that sucks about that is in order to download the demo, you have to download 7.5 gigs just to, to play the demo. So if you really don't plan on getting the game, that kind of sucks if you just want to try it out. I wish there was just a normal demo for that. So uh, I could at least try the game before I start to play the entire thing for an hour and then it just kicks me off. So yeah, you can see the dynamic theme I got from Meg. I hate Meg, but I like the theme so I just thought I'd use it. And you get this one. It's another cool one. It makes different sounds when you move around. And I'll show you another one. Um, let's see. It's another mag one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's another mag one. I don't really like this one. Kind of looks weird. I don't like the guy. Weird looking. Makes different sounds again. And it comes with two more themes, surprisingly. It comes with a, some weird Egyptian dude. Yeah, this one. I don't, even, I don't even understand this. This is retarded. I, I haven't even thought of using this one. I almost deleted it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, there's one more. It's called Blood, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what it's called. Um, hurry up and load themes. I have a lot of themes. That's why it takes a while. Is it called Bloody Escape? I can't see it. I think so. But this one's all right. Kind of looks weird, but that's another thing I don't really like about themes. Is a uh, I know that the PlayStation Network symbol is a trademark, so they can't really change it. But that really makes themes look ugly. The little blue PlayStation Network symbol on every single theme it just look makes it look weird it ruins it and uh, back to my first theme my favorite one of them and uh, yeah you can see next to my name there's a plus I'm pretty sure I'll go back to it in a few minutes but right now I'm gonna show you my avatars that it came with just to give you a better look from before if you didn't see them when I was in the store. Um, it comes with those fat princess things. Three mag ones, little big planet, and that origami bird. I'm, I don't know if it's a bird or what, but... It's an avatar. 
Now I'll go to my name. You see that uh, little gold plus next to my name? You get that. I think that's pretty cool. It lets people know that you have PlayStation Plus and they don't. But that's the biggest reason why I'm making this video, because I'm getting a lot of messages on what that thing is. One guy asked if it, uh, why I had the 10th prestige symbol from Call of Duty 4 next to my name. And uh, that's not what it is. But uh, yeah, this is one of the games that comes with it. It's called uh, Critter Crunch. And uh, I'm just going to show you what it is um, for about, I think, four minutes. I'm going to play it. I apologize, it's not that great of a game, but it's some well, it isn't something I would play for half my life, uh, like I do Modern Warfare, but, uh, I like playing this when I'm waiting for somebody to get out of a game on Modern Warfare. That's what, uh, my favorite use for them is. Now you'll see it has, like, puzzle mode, multiplayer, there's nobody on multiplayer, I want somebody to go on it so I can get my little trophy thing. And uh, this is a tutorial that uh, I accidentally turned on, so I'm just going to skip it as soon as I see the skip button on the side, which I didn't at first. There it is. And uh, just load. And the object of this game is to feed small bugs, or whatever the hell you want to call them, to the medium bugs, and the medium bugs to the big bugs. Now you can feed a small one to a medium bug, which will make the medium bug full then you will feed it to a big bug as you just saw that I did and uh... there's puzzle mode, that's actually pretty hard if you're not good at puzzles, don't even bother playing it I finished it, I'm pretty sure but yeah, you can just see me play this I'm sorry you have to watch this but thought I'd show you it. I could have shown you Siphon Filter, but I did you a favor, but not. And I actually get a trophy in this one, which I was trying to get for a long time. It's get a... I think it's 10 or 15, I'm not sure, but 10 or 15 food chains in one match. A food chain is when you feed a small bug to a medium bug. See, watch what I'm gonna do right here. I'll get a small bug, and I'll feed it to that green one. And that purple one above it will also eat it. That's called a food chain. If you understand what the food chain is in life. Like a... Fish eats shrimp. Shark eats fish. There you go, that's a food chain. A little science lesson for you. There's my trophy that I was trying to get for a while. And I'm just about done here. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm gonna blow up these things and I think it ends. Nope. There it is. It's gonna end in a second now. And you'll see the little blue bar at the left side. That just uh tells you uh how many more points you have to get. And I'm um, done that game. There's an entire world like Mario. You could compare it to that, but the entire game is completing those kind of puzzle things. And uh, to get through the world, it changes every once in a while. Um, things get added in, like those bomb things, they weren't in there before. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little quick review on PlayStation Plus. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. I think it was worth it the first month, and there are... How many? 14 more to go, and I'm doing Raccoon Thanks.